y'all. Welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. We're still talking about lab procedures. In this lesson, I'm gonna talk about filtration. Oftentimes, we need to separate a solution from its solid particles. And so we can use filtration to do this. We're going to use a piece of filter paper, a funnel, ring stand, beaker, you're going to want to sketch this, so make sure you have your notes and something to write with. I'm going to walk you through the steps of filtration, what will filtrate out, what will not filtrate out. If the particles are too big to get through the filter paper, they can be filtered. If the particles have been dissolved and those particles are really, really small, they're going to just fall straight through the filter paper into the filtrate. We call this stuff at the bottom the filtrate. Anyway, I'll get back to that. Make sure you have something to write with, something to write on, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna add just a little a spatula of salt, a spatula of sand. Again, my graduated cylinder. Notice this graduated cylinder is a different size. This is a 100 mil graduated cylinder. It goes from zero to 100. I only needed 50. Again, the bottom of the meniscus is on the 50. And then I'm going to stir my mixture. Why do you think we're using a beaker and not a graduated cylinder here? Okay, we are going to take a ring stand. So this is called a ring yeah. stand. And we are going to attach a ring clamp. So this right here in my hand is a ring clamp. On top of the ring clamp, I am going to put a clay triangle. Clay triangle. And on top of the clay triangle, I am going to put a funnel. Underneath the funnel, I am going to put a beaker. I'm going to take the piece of filter paper. I'm going to fold it in half. I am going to fold it in half again. And then I'm going to open one side of it so it looks like a little snow cone cup. And I'm going to place it in my funnel. I'm going to wet it with just a little bit of water using my wash bottle uh, so that it sticks to the side. Make sure you draw a picture of the lab setup for the filtration labeling all of the equipment used. If you need to rewind to catch that equipment, make sure you do that. Okay, so I have my mixture again. I'm gonna give it another stir. And then I'm going to pour it in my filter. Now I'm going to be very careful that I do not let my water level get above my filter paper. Because if I do, it's going to slip past and go down into the beaker in the bottom. So after we get through filtering using the funnel and the filter paper, this is what's left over in the funnel. What property of sand enables it to be separated from the water by filtration? And then this is what's left over in the beaker. What did the filtrate contain? Filtrate, you need to feel okay with that word. That's the stuff at the bottom. That's the stuff the beaker collected. How do you know what's in there? What characteristics of salt prevents it from being separated from the water by filtration. Prevented. Okay, so filtration, pretty easy setup, something that we will be doing a whole lot in chemistry. So you need to make sure that you understand the basic function of how to set up a filtration apparatus. Now, you may have realized, this is not a pure substance down here. There is still some particles dissolved in my filtrate. Stay tuned to that next video. It's the last one, I promise, but we're going to do evaporation to even separate this mixture even farther. Until next time, bye y'all.